very much. I'm here today because I know that when we move towards clean energy, we all win. And I stand here today because I know that scientists have sent a strong and clear message on the causes of climate change. And that we have precious little time to enact some changes to affect that. And I stand here today because I come from central Illinois, where our economy is largely based on agriculture. And it was a pleasure to see our farmer talk here today because we have some of the most productive soils in the world in my home county. But those soils will not be productive if our environment more closely resembles Texas' environment today than what we come to know here in central Illinois. Now people will ask me, is there anything we can do about this? Can we move to clean energy and still create jobs and reduce costs for consumers? And my answer is yes. And I know the answer is yes because I've seen it work. When I came to Illinois, to Illinois Senate, we worked to pass renewable clean energy standards that would move us towards 25% of our power coming from clean energy sources by the year 2025. And we have made great progress here in Illinois. And we've done that, and in the process created 20,000 jobs in solar and wind in the midst of a great recession. And in doing that, we've also saved consumers money. We saved the equivalent of $150 million a year for consumers. And in terms of pollution, we have reduced the equivalent of taking a million cars off the road every year by taking this action. We have made a great start, but we have more to do. And I've taken the lead on changing our, our renewable portfolio standards so that we can incentivize more production of wind and solar in the state of Illinois. I believe we've made great progress. And I see a lot of people who stood with me here today on that, but we can't do it alone. And that's why I stand with our president when he acknowledges this great problem we have, we're facing in our country and our world. And I stand with the clean energy technologies, the companies, they're looking to invest more, to hire more, and to create new inter industries, investing in future technologies here in the state of Illinois. And I stand with every citizen of Illinois who wants to breathe clean air and who cares about the future for their children. So I know that we are facing dire consequences, and the predictions are alarming. But the message should be one of hope, that if we continue to look at examples of how we have moved forward and we continue to move forward, I feel very confident that we can have a brighter future. Thank you all very much for being here. Have a great day.